Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra and I'm really glad you're here. Today I am participating in the 5 Under 5 Challenge. It's hosted every month on the 5th of the month by Missy over at Crafty Cove DIY and Emily at Farm Charm Chic. To this month, La Parsha from Creating It Myself is the guest host. I'll talk a little bit more about this challenge later in the video. So let's get started with DIY number one. I have this little crate that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I'm going to use some of the antique wax that we all love to use. A little bit watered down on this little crate to give it a stained look. I'm just going to put it on all over, wipe it off a little bit with my, uh, I don't know if that's my, that's just a paper towel. I really like to use old cut up um, undershirts or t-shirts uh, for this kind of thing, but I think I'm, no, I think I am using an undershirt. I don't know. Either way, whatever you decide to use. Yes, that is an old t-shirt. It works really good because it's soft. It doesn't really, you know, sometimes um, paper towels will rip and leave some fuzz or something like that. These shirts work great. Okay, so once I get that all done, I have this rub-on transfer ordered on Amazon. And I tried to use one out of that packet on a DIY recently and it didn't really work for me. So I'm gonna try this on this little box. Now I just used that that, that glaze on there, can't even talk. And I'm trying to see kind of what I wanna do with this. Love this little um, transfer. So I'm thinking, yes, this is the one I wanna use. Doesn't look like it's gonna work. So I'm using this, this is the little wooden spatula that came with it and I've watched watched some other creators who have used the same little wooden spatula and it works for them but I had this little plastic spatula that was from from something else and so I thought well I'll try to use it and it really wasn't working so I kind of just used my own little technique to get this off I just scraped and lifted it, it was just it didn't work like most rub-on transfers did I'm not sure what the problem was um, maybe it was the this antique wax is is kind of uh, a different texture than paint I'm not sure but I got it on there and it and it looked great it worked fine then I decided to give it a little tiny bit of a you know the little whitewash because I like that on the edges and then I got this great idea that I was going to use a little bit of a, a sandpaper and sand the edges of my crate which was going fine until the edge of my sandpaper caught my transfer. Oh, I was so mad. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll just make it all look a little distressed. Well, that didn't work either. So I just sanded the whole thing down, took it all off, painted the top of it white. I did leave the sides of it stained. Then I just printed this off. You can see my printer was almost out of ink. It didn't really even matter. Still worked out great. And I am going to use this elementary school method where you just flip that over and rub with the side of your pencil and get the back of it dark where your letters are. And I've got something under there that's driving me nuts, so I'm trying to smooth it out. Okay, so then I'm going to take it and I'm going to place this word hello where I want it. I'm going to put those sunflowers from that napkin over on the side. So I ended up going a totally different direction with this, which was fine because it turned out good. I'm going to hold this paper down with some painter's tape because I'm kind of clumsy. I don't trust myself. So I just trace this whole word. And when I pick this paper up, it's going to have all these letters all traced out on here. Um, it's a very simple process. So if you don't have a cutting machine of some, some type or you can't find stickers in the font that you like, this is a great method. And there you can see it. It's on there. I mean, it's you can see it good. So I, I use the uh, paint marker. You can use a Sharpie. You can use paint, whatever you have, whatever you like to use. This was very simple and easy to do. Um, and I really like the look that it gave. So, and if you have good handwriting and you like your own handwriting, then by all means, just write it. That would be a whole lot easier. But I don't mind my handwriting, but I wanted it to look good so I like the way this looked okay I have a friend who 
get, got me these from Germany. She's German and she lives here and she's the flight attendant and so she flies over a lot and she brought me these beautiful sunflower napkins. She brought them to me a while back, but they're really nice and thick and soft napkins that you might actually really use. Instead, the decorative ones, a lot of times to me, don't feel like napkins you would actually use. Okay, these were three ply, so I took the two plies on the back off. And, you know, I'll probably save those to do something with, you know, dry my paintbrushes or something. So I'm just going to cut this little part off over here and see where what I want on there. So I'm going to just cut around these two sunflowers and I'm going to cut as close to the edges as I can get. And there it is all cut. I didn't want to bore you with the details of that. I'm going to use some Mod Podge and I'm Mod Podging, putting a little Mod Podge on there. I'm going to Mod Podge this net piece of napkin on here. So simple. I love to use some cling wrap or this is just a baggie that I cut open and use it to smooth it out because it works so nice. So I'm going to just trim off the edges and then I'm going to give the entire piece a coat of Mod Podge. I'm going to do the napkin first with a really light hand. I'm using quite a bit of Mod Podge, but a light hand when I'm painting, painting it over that so that it doesn't uh, mess up my napkin. Um, the idea of this is um, to be farmhouse looking. So this challenge is to do five projects, each one under $5 and the theme is Everyday Farmhouse. So I feel like this is very summery, farmhousey looking, and I got this, this black and white check ribbon, I wanna say maybe at Michael's at Christmas, after Christmas on clearance, and I've been using it and using it and using it, and it's lasted me a very long time. So I thought this looked cute with the burlap, with the sunflowers, and then the black and the white. I don't know, I just think it turned out so very cute. I added a little extra twine in the middle because I thought it would just look kind of boring hanging out there. So there we go. There is my end result. I think it turned out really pretty. Okay, DIY number two. So I picked these up in my last haul, uh, Dollar Tree haul, and I it's a very simple. This is going to be very, very simple. I'm going to paint the top of this once I get the little hook off. I was going to take the bulb out. I was going to put some painter's tape on. Then I just decided I would just paint very carefully. So it was really easy to paint. It was really easy to paint carefully too. I did one coat. It only took one coat to cover of the chalk paint by Folk Art in... I'm not sure what the black is called, but it's just black. It's just black paint. And so I did not paint the very tip top up there. Um, so I'm, because you need to be able to turn it off and on. I didn't know how that would work with painting it. I probably could have painted it. But I like this little black and white check scrapbook paper. And I just had a little scrap left from something. And I just cut, traced it and cut it out. And I'm just going to use some double sided tape that I get at Dollar Tree. I absolutely love this double sided tape. And I always have to get tweezers to pull it off, scrape it on and pull it off. And then I'm just going to stick it down and then leave one side open so I can turn the turn it off and on. And now I'm going to take that little hook and wrap some twine around it because that little silver hook just didn't look like it quite belonged anymore. So I fumbled around to get it started until I finally got enough glue on there. And then I just twisted it around really tight and kept twisting it and pushing it closer together and tight until I got all the way around this little hook. This was super easy. I'm telling you, this is the easiest little DIY, but it is so cute. And I've been back to Dollar Tree to try to get some more of these little uh, lights. They didn't have them at my Dollar Tree forever. And so when they finally did, I picked up two and then I thought, oh, there's so many more things I could do with it. Went back to get more and I haven't seen them since. So, a little bummed about that. But I'm, I'm really excited to do this. I scratched my paint because I didn't completely wait till it got completely dry. So I did go back and touch that paint up a little bit. And I used my little makeup brush from Dollar Tree to get all my little fuzz off from the... I'm going to turn the light on, get all the fuzz off from the burlap. And look how cute it is. Oh my 
my goodness, I love this. This may be my favorite one from this um, video. Okay, third DIY. This is some scrap wood I had from, uh, it was a swing set that we had in the backyard for the grandkids and a storm blew it over and destroyed it and we couldn't really put it back together. So I told my husband, don't throw that wood away, put it in the shop. And he was like, really, we're gonna stack all this wood in the shop? And I said, yes, we are. And I have been making all kinds of things out of it, reusing and repurposing that wood. So, and it's really worn and you can see that it's kind of distressed looking. So um, I cut these little, just cut some little angles at the top to make them look like little houses. And I'm using Fawn by, I believe it's Waverly and folk art, mm, some mossy green color, Italian sage, I think it is. And then the color that I mixed up, I just like that little color I mixed up with a little bit of white and a little bit of maybe buff beige. I'm not sure what it is. Then I took these little home letters that I have had in my stash for so long, I can't even remember where I got them. I want to say maybe Hobby Lobby had them on clearance or on sale or something one time and I, I bought them and I just never have used them. So I pulled out the letters to spell out home using the antique wax, wiping it off, dab, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. And I think they turned out real cute. And then I'm gonna kinda do the same thing with these beads. I watered that antique wax down a little bit, just put the beads in one of these little cups, and then I'm gonna use this little, um, I think it's supposed to be to use like with the Cricut to weed, but I don't really use it for that. I use it for all kinds of other things. <laughs> but anyway, it got these little beads out really quickly. So I'm getting some twine, burlap twine, and I'm gonna put this tape on the end and I'm twist it. Please don't mind my hands covered in paint with no fingernails on. Oh goodness, but I can still make cute crafts. Okay, so I put all those beads on that piece of twine. Now I'm gonna make a little tassel. Just wrap that around my fingers a few times. I'm gonna tie it at the top of it to the end of my bead string. Oh man, I'm going so fast, I can't even tell you what I'm doing. Well, I hope you know how to make a tassel. If you don't, there's plenty of tutorials out there or I show you in lots of my videos how to make tassels. So we're gonna tie a string at the top of that to hold that string down at the top. Cut off the excess, cut the ends of the strings, trim them up, and you have a cute little tassel. I didn't make it very full because I didn't, I didn't really want a really full one. And then I found this little heart I ordered these off Amazon because there was a project I wanted to do. I just never have gotten to it yet. And so I thought it would be cute on the end. And then it was just a little too plain for my taste. I love all the stain and the wood and all on this little garland. But I didn't, I thought it was just a little bit plain. So I took some of that celery um, by Waverly and then some of that white that I had that off-white that I had mixed up and I just, just I just gave it a little bit of dry brushing. Then I took some 150 sand 150 grit sandpaper and just sanded the edges of my little houses down a little bit. Just hot glued them together and cleaned up all the little messy glue pieces. Glue this together and it's gonna look so so cute. I cannot wait to see what everybody else created in this playlist and I encourage you to go and look and watch everybody in the playlist there will be some amazing uh, farmhouse crafts I know it's summertime and there were a lot of our regular um, creators who participate that aren't going to get to participate this month and um, I know I'm going to be kind of bummed not to get to see what they created but they're spending time with family going on vacations and all that kind of thing so um, go check out the playlist and show some love over there be sure and leave them a comment subscribe if you're not um, also if you're watching this and you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button look how cute this turned out I think this is really cute little extra decor decor piece to have sitting around okay DIY number four this might be one of my favorites. I picked up this little set at Aldi. I've seen a lot of people saying that they found these. They were actually on clearance at my Aldi. I got four of these little mini uh, cutting boards for 
So I chose th this color. I had them in a couple different colors, but I chose this color and I took some light colored um, vinyl and made myself a little decal that says Faith Family Food and I'm going to just put it on there. This is super simple and don't forget to hit the like button that just popped up there to remind me to say don't forget to hit that like button you know like comment share all those things really help um, help my channel help YouTube to recognize that people there are people out there that really want to see my content and so it gets it gets it out there and it helps me get recognized a little bit more and I would t really appreciate that so I just have to kind of go slow with some of these in different um, fonts sometimes are a little bit harder to get to stick on there and then I just had this twine I want to say I, I can't remember where I picked this one up it was either Dollar Tree or Walmart I may have gotten this one at Walmart during Christmas and then I just tied a little simple cross no it's not even a knot and then I made a little bow stuck it in there and then tied the rest of that across my bow you can see what I'm doing didn't speed this one up for some reason I sped the other one up that was harder to understand but anyway there it is that's how it turned out super simple you could use stickers or rub on transfers if you don't have a Cricut it's I just think this is really cute an extra little piece and there I did it with another DIY from this video okay last one and I've done several of these my daughter drinks these, or used to drink, I don't know if she still does, these little Starbucks coffees in the bottles, and so I had her save them for me. And so I'm gonna use the white, uh, the chalk paint in linen. It's a white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. I buy it large in a, you know, a quart can, and then I put it in this little jar so that it doesn't dry out as fast. I just pour a little bit in that, that little plastic jar. And I'm gonna paint all four of them, and it took two coats of paint to get the coverage I wanted. And then here's that color that I mixed up again with a little bit of white and I think it's warm buff or buff beige. And I covered that whole thing in that uh, paint, the whole outside. And then I cut some craft sticks to fit the length of each side of this little, this little crate, this little box. Uh, I'm not sure what you call this. Now the first side, I did the wood glue, I did the hot glue, but the rest of the time, the rest of the sides, I only did hot glue. I didn't mess with the wood glue because I feel like that the hot glue will hold it on the paper just fine. And so yeah, I did all four sides with the craft sticks and then I gave it an, a good coat, one just one coat of this, um, I don't know, this bone color paint that I mixed up. Sometimes I just customize my own paint colors then I took this paint in truffle by Waverly and I just gave it some good dry brush some texture to make the paint look to make the uh, I'm sorry I can't even talk to make it look a little aged and a little worn to make it look more like wood you know it just it's just what we do make it look like you want it to then I took some twine and I wrapped it around just a little extra added, um, Wendy would say, just some extra added cuteness. I'm going to wrap this string twine around here as soon as I can make my clumsy self work. And then just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it as many times as you want. As thick or as thin you know everybody has their own taste I just eyeball it when it's where I want it I stop then I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put this decal on the side that I made on my Cricut I just typed in the word I looked up found me a little cow stuck it all together made this little decal I'm gonna put it on the side this one worked out really good I'm trying to see which which side I want to be the front just gonna stick this decal in the center. Bam, there it goes. Center or not, it's on there. 
put it down with my squeegee, rip that off there and check it out. Looks good. Okay, I'm always clapping my hands. They kind of make fun of me at church for doing that all the time, but it's just part of my personality. Okay, so I'm gonna take this twine and I'm gonna wrap a few pieces. I'm gonna wrap a piece around a few times at the top and then I'm gonna do it on all four of them. And I did use that white DIY wax and gave that a coating on the outside to kind of protect them and stick them in there and that is it it's done and it is so adorable and it's so farmhouse I think it's great let me know in the description box and not in the description box you're not gonna type in the description box silly let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite and I really do appreciate you watching today thank you